My name is Isabel, and welcome to your first Dutch class. Today, I will be teaching you to pronounce the alphabet in Dutch, and to count in Dutch, and I will teach you some Dutch. Before we start, I thought it might be fun to tell you some facts about Holland, because you did decide to learn the Dutch language, so it must be fun to know a little bit more about the country. Seventeen million inhabitants, but Holland counts for over eighteen million bicycles. The Dutch people are bicycle people for sure. They bike about nine hundred kilometers a year which is about two and a half kilometers a day. Holland has no mountains. It is completely flat. So, as the Dutch say very often, Nederland is so plot as a pannenkoek. Nederland is so plot as a pannenkoek. The Dutch use that phrase a lot, and it means Holland is as flat as a pancake. The Netherlands stands for lowlands. That has to do with the fact that Holland actually is um, is very low on the earth, on the earth. About twenty five percent of Holland is below sea level, and. Another 50% is only one meter above sea level, so... <sighs> Therefore, it is called lowlands. Holland has a lot of traditional Dutch food, and I will name a few for you. The Dutch love herring with raw onions. Now there is a special way to eat herring. You have to hold the fish by its tail, and then you have to eat the fish upside down. Also, black licorice is very, very Dutch. Cheese is something that Dutch people are very, very fond of. And then there is a cookie kind of thing, which is called stroopwafels. Stroopwafels. Kind of like a waffle, but then more um, cookie 
ish with a syrup in between the cookies and it tastes a little bit cinnamon caramel like and I personally think that it's delicious then the Dutch have something that is called a croquette a croquette and it is crisp on the outside it usually is um, in a tube shape and it's very warm and soft inside and it tastes like meat that's the most popular kind you also have a vegetable croquettes and other different kinds of flavors then Holland is known for its beer you've probably heard of Heineken and Grols and Amstel those are all Dutch beer brands also, the Dutch love their coffee. They drink about 140 liters of coffee a year. That's about 3.2 cups a day. Only the Scandinavian people drink more coffee than the Dutch people. Dutch people are the tallest people in the world. A man is in Holland approximately 184 centimeters tall, which is about 6 feet 1. And a woman is about 170 centimeters long, which is about 5 feet 7. And I am living proof of Dutch people being the tallest of the world because I am Dutch and my height is 182 centimeters which is about 6 feet tall mm -hmm. So I'm telling you the truth Holland is known for its international DJs, such as Tiesto, Armin van Buren, Afrojack, and Hardwell. Great DJs. Soft drugs is legal in Holland, but there aren't a lot of addicts and it's very rare to see somebody smoking a joint so I guess the forbidden fruit is more interesting the last thing that I want to share with you about the Dutch people is that when they meet a new person they will shake that person's hand that's also done when you're in a, when you're about to meet a business partner for a meeting. But if you are seeing or meeting up with an acquaintance or a friend, then it's common to give three kisses on the cheeks. Usually, you start on one cheek. done when you're saying hello to someone and also when you're saying goodbye to someone again it's three kisses mm -hmm. Dutch people love to kiss
pronouns, the letters, and I want you to repeat after me, okay? Good. So, here we go. First letter. I'm going to take my pen. Ah. Bay. Say. Day. Excellent. A. It's a hard one. It's not G. It's hard. It's a hard G. So, G. G. Mm -hmm. In the back of your throat. Throat. I know it's a little bit weird to pronounce, but you're doing good. Ha. E. Yay. Ka. Mm -hmm. L. M. N. O. Good. Bay. Mm -hmm. Good. They mm -hmm. They X I Z yeah, Let's try that one more time Z Z. Good. Okay. Excellent. You've done a great job. So now I will count with you. Let's let's try that. This exercise went excellent. Very good. Okay. begin with to 30. Why so far? Well, let me explain something to you. Counting in Dutch is very different from counting in English. In English, for example, you say 20 but in Holland, you first say the last number, and then you say the first number. So you say three and twenty, but then in Dutch, obviously. Okay, so it's it's a bit weird, and actually, I think the English way is, makes much more sense. Again, I will pronounce a word, and I want you to repeat. Eina. Twee. Drie. 
vier. Vijf. Zes. Zeven. Acht. Negen. Move on to the second line. Okay, good. Elf. Twelf. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Zeventien. Achttien. Negentien. Twintig. Eenentwintig. Okay. Ja, is goed. Je kiest het. Fantastisch. Tweeëntwintig. 23, wonderful. 24, 25, 26, 27. Great. Excellent. So now I just want to count back from ten to one and then we're done with counting. Good. So one more time. Teen. Nation. Zeven, zes, vijf, vier, drie, twee, Get on to the last part, which is touch phrases. So I have written down some phrases in touch, and I want you to repeat after me when I'm pronouncing them. Okay, we're gonna try that again, word for word. Hello. Yes, it's about the same as uh, the English hello, but the E, R, but the A is now pronounced as ah. So not hello, but hello. Hello. Is het mm -hmm. 
Who is head? So that means hello. Pretty much how? Um, how is it? But that's not really a saying in English because mm, in English it is how are you? But in Holland we say who is it? So how is it? It's kind of a little bit different. If you really want to say how are you? You would have to say, um, who had it? And that's pretty much, um, how goes it? <laughs> yes, it's a different language. So, hello? Who is het? And then you can say, met jou which is with you, so how is it with you, which doesn't make any sense in English, but in Dutch it's very normal, I assure you. Hello? Who is it, Mikhail? Hello? Who is it, Mikhail? Hello? Who is it, Mikhail? Or just Hello? Who is it? Good. Next line. Ik heet Isabel. Yes, that's my name. Yes. So can you guess what it says? Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't say, um, my name is, but it says, um, pretty much it says, I am called Isabel. Uh, ik is I, or me, ik, hate, so that's, um, I am called. People call me or refer me. People call me Isabel. Ik hate. And then my name. So now you try and say it with your name. Ik hate. And then your name. Try it. Yes. Very good. One more time. Mm -hmm. Together. Good. Ik hate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Ik ben mm -hmm. 27. Yes. Jaar out. Okay. Can you guess what it says? Excellent, yes. What your age is, good. So, um, ik, that is, correct, that's me or I, ben, I am, ik, ben, I am, ik ben, and then the number, so for me it's 27. Ik ben 27. So that's, that's already a sentence. You can already use it like that. Ik ben 27. I am 27. But to finish the sentence, you have to pronounce the last word, which is jaar. Out. Mm -hmm. So, and that says year old. Yes, good. You guessed it. 
ik ben 27 jaar oud. Oké. Okay. Now you with your number. Mm -hmm. Yes, fantastic. Wonderful. Excellent. You sound very good. Good job. Next line. Ik mm -hmm. woon in Nederland. Yes, the Netherlands. Holland, it's the same thing. No, ik, I, woon, live, in, that's the same, in, Nederland, Holland. So I live in Holland. Okay, once again, ik, Woon in, that one's easy, Nederland. Mm -hmm. But obviously you don't live in Holland right now, so try and say the sentence to where it makes sense for your situation. Mm -hmm. Ik woon. In ik woon in Amerika. Yes, that's America or the United States. Very good. Excellent. Last sentence. Ik. Mm -hmm. Hou. Van. Drop. Drop. Yes. I. We figured out that one out. A little bit like an Indian uh, thing, but it's not. How is love? Love. I love. Vom. Trop. Well, this um, vom actually a word that is a little bit more difficult to explain because in Holland or in English because in English the sentence would be I love drop and the van van would not even be in the sentence but in Holland we cannot say I ich hau drop the sentence would not be finished if you say, I love, you need to say, vom, if you want to refer to something. So, for example, if, if I want to say, I love you, I have to say, ik hau vom jou, you. Ik hau vom jou. Good. Now you try to say. Yes, excellent, very good. So, ik hou van trop. And I actually do because trop is black licorice. And um, I love trop so much. So I know it's a Dutch thing, and I know that a lot of people find it a little bit silly and the taste really disgusting, but. Where the 
raisins. Good. So, that was our Dutch lesson for today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you had fun, and I hope I taught you some new things. <laughs> yes? Well, good. with one more phrase and it's a Dutch saying um, and it goes like this Helaas Pindakas Helaas Pindakas and it means too bad peanut butter <laughs> too bad peanut butter I'll see you next time.